Hey what's going on guys, this is James from The Technical Dudes here and today I have a tutorial on how to get Cinema 4D R13 all for free on your Mac. So for this you're going to need a torrent downloader, I recommend you torrent as it is the best torrent downloader in my opinion. And so all you need to do is go to this link that was going to be that's going to be in the description, www.utorrent.com and click free download and that download should only take a couple of minutes if, you down if you've got really bad download speed then it might take 5-10 minutes, so I doubt it's going to take that long, it's not a very large file. But what we need to do is set that up, and here it is right now. And this is going to be what, how you're going to download uh, Cinema 4D. And so now you want the actual torrent, and I've got this from sorry, Kickass Torrents. And all you need to do is come to this page, which is also going to be in the description, and just click download torrent. Do not click this large download button as this is actually an ad and it will take you to some website that's going to give you Mac a virus but Macs can't really get viruses that easy alright I'm going to be quiet so just click download torrent I'm going to do this anyway just to give you a better feel of it it's going to go into your download list sorry I've got a screen recording thing there you can't see it but, um, you're going to open that up and it's going to instantly open up uTorrent the thing that you just downloaded and I'm just going to wait for this to load up uh, it's already in my torrent shower. I'm just going to click yes. Uh, remind me later. And right, so downloading, it would be, it's going to be in this downloading one. And it's going to take, depends on your download speed, it could take half an hour, it could take three hours, four hours. So if it is going to take long, I'd recommend doing this overnight um, so you don't have to wait for it to leave your computer on. But once it's finished, it's going to be in a list here which is here so all you need to do is open this up or you don't need to open it up it will save it um, on your desktop which is right here open up the folder that it's saved and it's going to be inside this folder it's going to be called r13 installation.iso you can open that up so the disk image um, and it's going to have all these things you need you don't really need any of these things you just need to go to setup it's going to have the cinema 4d r13 logo You're just going to open that up it should open this Maxon installer and you just want to choose your language I'm guessing that you're English you might be any of things your um, your main language and it's gonna open up the Maxon installer again and from here you want to click continue you can read that if you want I don't really want to and because I've already done it before it's I've filled all these in with my things well you don't have to do it you can just say anything so you could do uh, anything Bob Jones there you go and then for the serials I have all the cinema 4d r13 serials all in here and this is also going to be in the description all you need to do is copy this from the description of this video so command C go back onto here you can just click the button paste or you can just do um, command V and it will paste it in there then you need to do is click continue you want to click sum for D continue and you want it in your application so you click install then here you don't need to know about this you have to do it I have read the accepted the terms and conditions install uh, it's already done that so after it's done this it might take quite a while it's just skipped it all because I already have all this because I've already done it but it's gonna take maybe I don't know maybe an hour or so for it to do all of this um, maybe less depends on the speed of your computer but here you just need to put in your password or you might not have to put in your password depends on what you've got and what um, settings you've got but here why is it doing this again? I don't have a clue about this. There you go, so that's, no, it hasn't skipped it, it's just doing that. Right, so I'll come back once this has all been installed. Guys, so it's going to take about 25 minutes. Guys, I'll be back. Alright guys, so now that this is finished, you'll get a screen like this saying the installation has finished successfully. And you can tick this box saying start Cinema 4D if you want it to start it when you click finish or not. So if you click Cinema 4D, it's just opening up the one that I've already got. But this, it will literally open it up from the applications. Um, it's just fortunate that I have it in my docs, so it won't automatically come up in your doc. 
but as you can see it's now opening it up um, it does take a while and there you go that's the cinema 4d and this is all got everything everything you can do you can add text if you want to if it wants to <laughs> it's just like there you go you got text and you every time this comes up it's going to come up every time you open the application um, you want to click close because if you install this it will actually it will um, make it not free it will ask you to like add a load of stuff and it will make you like pay and stuff and it will just screw up the whole thing so never click install just click close every time alright so that's pretty much like it guys so if this worked for you then I would be really thankful if you leave a like and a subscribe and even leave a comment on what you thought so thank you for watching and please subscribe